And one of the reasons why we in the world today suffer consequences, and you probably wonder why, is because of that shortcoming of whether we're doing it for the sake of Allah, 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 Allah. Do you remember the very, very well-known hadith? The Tablik Jamaat quote this hadith a lot. Right, Brother Abdul Salam? You know, in the, in the, in the Jamaat, you've got six points, huh? Eh? What number is Ikhlas? Number, Ikhlas is number five. Oh, you guys say, I don't go in Jamaat, and you guys forgot your points. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ikhlas is number five. And going in the path of Allah is number six. And they always quote on this number five. See, Hafiz Munir, you need to go in Jamaat a little bit too, right? That the Prophet Sallallahu said, if a person gives Mount Uhud in gold and is not sincere about it, it's for show, it's for people to see, for people to think he's a rich man or a rich woman. And that has no value in comparison to a person, you know, a kudru, a date, who gives the seed, the size of a seed of gold and charity, but for the sake of Allah, that has more value than the entire Mount Uhud. Because it's about ikhlas. It's about sincerity. Well, what, what happens? Don't we hear these hadith? So why do we all... Why... Allah forgive me, I thought I took the phone off. Why do we all, um, can you imagine the city is calling me? <laughs> why, why do we all live our lives not for the pleasure of Allah? Everything we do, even the Prophet ﷺ on the hadith of near intention, he says, and when you migrate, you migrate for the pleasure of Allah. Hijra. If you make hijra, you hijra for the pleasure of Allah. How many people make hijra or migrate for the pleasure of Allah? We make hijra for the pleasure of the dunya. So much here. So we're going to get into this verse. Let's read this verse before we... We miss the point so we can keep on track. In chapter 15 of the Quran... Chapter 15, go home, research it, or go back on Al Hikmah TV or Facebook or YouTube and check it out. In chapter 15 of the Quran, huh? Surah Al Hijri, verses 39 to 42, hear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Hear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, referring to a conversation. between Allah and shaitan. You see this no intent, no, this, this intention thing of ikhlas is a very satanic thing. If your intention is not for Allah, then you are under the, 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 the followers, or you're from amongst the followers of the devil. See that? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us a little bit about this whole concept of shaitan and how shaitan was upset when he was kicked out and thrown out of, Jahan of Jannah. So shaitan says, قَالَ رَبِّ بِمَا أَغْوَيْتَنِي لَأُزَيِّنَنَّ لَهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ So because Satan was kicked out, and I want to connect now to this not doing things for the pleasure of Allah, can cause us to be doing it for Satan. And those of you who came late, you buy a car not for Allah, then you bought it for Satan. Because for society and people, and that's what Satan wants us to do, not do it for Allah. You open a business, society, people, world, not for Allah, well then Satan misled us. Oh yeah. So Satan says, telling, telling Allah, that because you have kicked me out, because you threw me out of paradise, because you denounced me, la uzayyinanna lahum fil ard, my revenge to you, Allah. Very slicker. Eh? 
Satan is talking here, as Allah says in the Quran. He says, I'll beautify the things in this world for your people. Isn't that what happens? He says, I will make it beautiful. Everything I'll make it look beautiful for them. They're going into a business, I'll make haram business look beautiful. They're going to get married, I'll make the woman look beautiful and take away all the salah and all the iman and all the zakat and all the hajj and all the islam from her. That everything about her look beautiful but iman. You're going to buy a house, it'll be all for dunya, for beauty, for the people. You're going to get a job, you want to get a job all for what people will think. It all looks beautiful in the eyes of the dunya. Satan said, I'll mislead them to make them think everything is beautiful. Oh yeah. That is serious business. And I don't like to always use this example because people feel offended. They're going to do something, everything is around the beauty of the dunya and society and how they look at you and think. So Satan is telling Allah, that's not Sheikh Shafat saying that, so don't go and tell me, oh, I disagree with you and I don't like your opinion. What is that? It's Allah in the Quran here. Verse 39. ajma'in, And I will make all of them go off the path and do wrong. See that? So hear what you guys probably thinking, and hear what our viewers on, online probably thinking. Everybody, well, we, 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 we marry, we marry in this halal business is halal. Buying a car is halal. Everything is halal. But hear what Allah says about that now. Hear what Allah says about that. Illa ibadaka minhumul mukhlasi. Oh, very deep. Everyone, technically, that does things not for Allah, then the intention will be corrupted and will end up in wrong. It must all be for Allah. Remember, as a Muslim, even if you get married and it is for Allah, that's what makes it halal. So much care about you. Yeah, was it the Prophet said, if you give charity and it's not for Allah, that's a, that's a different question, man. And if you give a little date in charity for Allah, that's the blessing worth more than that mountain that you think you gave for sure. So Allah is saying that Satan will not be able to mislead people if they do their amal and their actions only for Allah. That's what you call ikhlas. class. 